morning everyone welcome back to the outpost I've got my great nephew here again with me today Kyler um, what we got planned to do today is I've got a log on the sawmill um, I've started milling uh, lumber for the siding on the cabin again and then I've got to mill um, some 2 by 4s and things like that for the stick framing um, but you know it's kind of uh, it's repetitive to me and kind of monotonous if I just go back and forth, back and forth several days cutting lumber. So what I decided to do is start a new build. And you will probably see me maybe the first half of the day milling some lumber and then the second half of the day I'll be working on a new outdoor compost toilet. And I've got uh, a cool idea for it. I was telling Kyler when we got here that um, I'm going to have a little walkway through the yard that goes down to it and it'll have like a little arched walkway that goes like a bridge that will go over to uh, it sitting on the platform itself and we're going to kind of doll it up but it's going to be built on an embankment you know everything in East Tennessee is built like this <laughs> that's why hillbillies have one leg shorter than the other because they're always on the hill no I'm just teasing um, but yeah since the grade goes down this way then I'm going to have to build it up on a platform kind of like I did this kitchen and I thought, what would it would really look cool if it had a little arching bridge that went over to it with a little handrail. So, that's what we've got in mind to do today is to punch some holes for the beginning of the build for the outdoor compost toilet. And then probably the second half of the day, because it's supposed to rain. So, while it's not raining, we decided we might try to go ahead and do that. And then the second half of the day, we'll be milling some lumber for the siding. So, anyway, also August the 29th. Don't forget, we're going to have another live. Uh, people have been commenting, sending in information, uh, sending in their ideas that they would like to have one at least once a month. So anyway, we're, we're going to try to do that, and we're going to see how that goes. So August the 29th would be the next date towards the end of the month that we'll do a live stream. Anyway, are you ready to get after this? Yeah. Okay. Okay, just, just lay it down. Now come over here and hold this tape. Once you hold this tape where it's about center, the edge of this is about center of that hole up right, right in there, okay? That right there is a reference to being 50 feet away from the cabin even though it's a compost toilet and it doesn't have a hole and it doesn't go down into the earth. Um, which I'm not going to have to, it's got to be away from a water source and stuff like that. I just want to make sure that my compost area is at a distance away from everything. Um, uh, right there, let's go to this one. There. This one. Right there. Just working a little at a time. Get the, the 
the main hole down so far. And you need to remember to go straight down with it. Once you get the main hole so far down, you can start digging the rest out. That way, the hole doesn't shift on you. Before you start widening your hole out. Now, if you start punching through like this and hit a root, that's when I gotta get the thing in there to dig it out. And there may be a piece of slate or shale in there too. Raise the bucket up, it'll keep it in. Put the, put the butt in, put it in there. there See, when I raise it up, the angle gets steeper. You know on our giveaways you can see the benefit of having a draw knife because if you want to do anything rustic um, you may do it like this you've got a way to peel the bark off. Um, some of the timbers I sliced one side and then I sliced the other side but I left the two sides natural. You would need something like that to shave that bark off and then you've got kind of like a, a flat side on both sides to use. So regardless of what you're doing, you've seen me whittle uh, many handles for tools uh, since we've had the channel. I've done several of those using the draw knife. So uh, that's the reason that we decided to go ahead and give one of those away because uh, they really come in handy. Let me work this backwards for you. Yeah. 
Yeah, I need to get another one, right? I'll, I'll do that and you do this in. I can't keep the sweat out of my eyes. Pick that up. Bump a little bit more. Yeah, I cannot keep that sweat out of my eyes. military base running drills through the mountains here having to navigate up and over and through the mountains they do that quite often um, and the Appalachian Mountains provides them a great place to do that
potatoes, onions, tomatoes, and New York strip. For just like 60 seconds. 60 seconds? Yeah. That's a minute. <laughs> Have a seat right here. Say, say hello. I can't say hello. Yeah. Yeah. Greasy. So, so are we. We're nasty. Sit down. Have a seat. Oh, I don't get the stuff. Look, look who showed up. Uh, fried bologna. <laughs> fried bologna. <laughs> hey, hey, I didn't know you was going to be over here until this morning, but I had this stuff with me. Oh, but, yeah. I mean, this was better than the bologna we had, wasn't it? Well, it looks better. I don't know if it tastes better. <laughs> oh, how does it taste? Pretty good? It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, could you smell it when you came up? Oh, yeah. No, it smells good. Okay. Well, Chad stopped by to say hello and bring my chain back. He's been working on his vehicle. Anyway, I kind of felt bad when I seen him come around the corner because the last time... No, it wasn't the last time. Last time you were here, you were working on the engine. Exactly. But it was the time before that. I... Worked him all day and fed him bologna sandwich. I felt so bad. Not that, even fried bologna. That, just that's, <laughs> that's what I had with me, you know. And uh, I shared what whatever I have, I share. So I just need to start carrying steaks more often, right? That's right. That's right. Well, well, I mean, you still got the fire going over here. I mean, I don't have any more meat though. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you can hear it, but in the background over here again, it's thundering and it's sprinkle, starting to sprinkle just slightly. Uh, but we did manage to get those three posts uh, skinned. We got the holes dug. We got them put in the holes. He started working on this other hole. He's going to try to finish it before it rains. And then we're going to jump in there in the sawmill, but I wanted to show it to you. So basically, again, what I've got is <clears throat> right here, it will start a small arching bridge that will come over to a platform right here that will be about oh maybe three feet uh, maybe four feet straight across after it, uh, after the arch comes down so that I can open the door and then from there back will be the compost toilet and we may kind of make it look you know kind of like uh, up there where it's rustic but we may go ahead and put a round roof I don't know kind of make it look hobbity um, but I decided, you know, since I was gonna, knew I was going to have to build some sort of a deck anyway or build steps down to something, I thought, why not let's just make like a little arcing bridge. Not just a flat one, but a little arch, arching one. And I thought that would really look cool. So we're getting a start on it. We're about halfway on the foundation posts here. Got the other three to dig, but uh, it's coming along. Kyler is a lot of help. So you all give him a lot of thumbs up and a lot of comments because it seems like when he comes over, it's just BAM, son, and it happens. Anyway, so he's going to continue to work on that, and I'm going to get the tools out to uh, get ready and warm up the sawmill so that we can start uh, sawing on the cant that I've got laying on the bunks.
Well guys, we're going to go ahead and knock off for the evening because we have uh, dug those holes, cut those posts, uh, took the bark off of them, and milled that one log up and set another one up and milled it up into a camp for me to have something to work on in case it's raining tomorrow. You know, again, guys, we really appreciate you stopping by, uh, like I always say, and hanging out with us while we're building the homestead here. Hope you're going to like the new little project on the compost toilet. I think it's going to turn out cute, especially if we kind of do it with a rounded roof, like a hobbit style. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if we should do a round door. That look pretty cool. <laughs> but how are the older people going to get in there? Maybe, maybe what we'll do is a door that goes up and is rounded like this. Okay not have the bottom around it because then you'd have to step through it yeah. but yeah so uh and then my daughter suggested that i put smo on there instead of a half moon i have to think about that but anyway we're going to doll it up we're going to make it look good so i hope you enjoyed this little segment on digging those holes and getting started on that project milling the siding for uh the cabin it won't be long and we'll get some two befores cut up and we'll start slapping walls up on the cabin. Uh, well, actually, we're going to put the floor down first, but we'll be ready to start throwing the walls up on the cabin and closing it in. Anyway, you all take care. Have a great afternoon. And don't forget about um, August the 29th for a live. I want to mention that again. I'm going to try to remember. You know, that's the hard thing to do. Remember to do everything on video. Um, but... Uh, don't forget about August 29th. Y'all have a great afternoon. Take care. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the Outpost next time.